Hello, my name is Phoebe Ray. I'm an 11th grader at Mount Juliet High School in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. So far, I have taken Art 1 and Honors Art 3, as well as private lessons, and I have been the president of my art club for the past two years. The first piece I'd like to start off with the moon, which uh, it's called the moon, <laughs> and it's acrylic paint on a wooden board. It is roughly 14 by 9 inches, and it took a lot of planning as it's based off of tarot cards and they all have like a deeper meaning behind them. And here is just a sneak peek of all of the planning and stuff that I did for it. And then the next piece I have is Old Black Train. It is based off of the song by Old Black Train by The Blasting Company. It is roughly I'd like to say 14 by 11 inches it's watercolors on a piece of paper and the entire thing is packed full with symbolism symbolisms of death like the train the gravestones there's little coins there's crows a black butterfly and so on and then here is some of the planning I did for that and then the next piece I'd like to show is this one. It is roughly 8 inches by 10. It's acrylic paint on cardboard and it was the first ever painting I've actually done with flesh tones and I think it turned out very very well. The next piece I have here is another acrylic paint on cardboard and it uses and it also use, utilizes inks and um, paint marker. It is I think I already said this, but roughly 8x10, and it started as a self-portrait, but I feel like now it's kind of a little bit more <laughs> up to the viewer, as it didn't turn out to look like me as much as I originally wanted it to. The next piece I have here is this one. It is um, acrylic paint on canvas board. It's roughly 8 inches by 10, and this I had to do a lot with the development of like color, so specifically in like the orange, like because it's just like a slice of orange. <laughs> and then um, the background, it took me like three times. I kept on coming back to it and I feel like coming back to it made me like enhance it, make it look better and so on and so forth. And then the next piece I have is this little man. He is made out of oil-based clay. He is roughly four inches by three inches by two inches and he took a very long time to do and he put me outside of my comfort zone a lot as this is like one of the first 3D pieces I've done since like elementary school and going outside of that comfort school is something I feel like I could find in governor school and just like learning all these new things like I look forward to that so much for Gov School. And then the next piece, my friends and I all love to refer to her as the blue lady, because she quite literally is blue. And it is roughly eight inches by eight inches. It's acrylic paint on uh, glass. She was originally just gonna be on glass, but my friend saw her with like something orange in the background, said it made it, ma she said that the orange in the back made her look like she popped and I was like, dang, that really does make it pop. So I have to thank my friend for the final kind of look of this piece with the orange in the background. The next piece I have is this one. It is roughly 15 by six inches, but it is graphite on paper and this is quite poor lighting for it. I'll hold it at an angle. But this taught me a lot of patience, especially because it was a grid transfer. And I hate grid transfers. I hate how long they take in my opinion. But it taught me like how to use grid transfers. Like it taught me how to use grid transfers like more, I guess. <laughs> Maybe realize how useful they actually are. And I really love how this one turned out. I'm very, very proud of this piece and it made me love and appreciate graphite drawing so much. So the next piece I have here is referred to as the ant. And this one is roughly um, 14 by 18 inches. 
it's watercolor um on paper and we had to pack as much uh we had prompts that we had to pick from we had to put as many in it and some of those are the ladder the door and the melting clock and then the last piece i have here is quite big it is uh 18 by 24 inches and we had to do kind of like a pixelated effect so i did a uh, paper painted with acrylic and i ripped it up and put it on here and i really love how this one turned out as well i feel like i have a strong coverage of materials and going to governor school would help like allow me to like further mature these skills and give me to an uh, introduction of like a college experience and i feel like i would really benefit from that <laughs> i would enjoy it so much and be so grateful for it and but once again this was phoebe ray thank you